Hi guys, thanks for tuning to my channel. This is Just Another. So you guys know, week every week I come to you with a um, Shop My Stash, Put It To Use collab, and I'm collabing with um, Coils of Love, Shay, 3175, IFY, House of Diva, and Cupcakes and Makeup. Every week until September, we're coming with a Shop My Stash look, pulling out stuff that we haven't used. I got two requests, one from Periscope, which I haven't done yet, but I decided to do it on YouTube as well to show my stash. Let's see what you got in your stash. And then also, um, I got a request from here on YouTube to show my setup. Someone said that my lighting looks real good, real crisp. And it all depends on if it's bright outside. You know what I mean? Because I just have this small little window, so I don't get any natural light. But if it's a bright day, um then i have better luck so but i'll show you my lighting and what it looks like while i'm recording and then i'll come back and show you uh, my stash meaning i'll show you my foundation collection my palettes um maybe my highlighters and my blushes i won't show you my lipstick because i have a gazillion a gazillion <laughs> lipsticks okay so um yeah i'll be right back okay so first off this is my setup walk into the room over here it's just my whiteboard and I have this table that I keep just some overflow brushes in makeup got my vacuum cleaner in here that needs to go out but this table right here just has some overflow makeup my printer sits there and then here's my vanity so this is my setup I just have this desk light right here and it's just a you know just a light like that that I can adjust and position it however I want and then this light right here and the same thing I can adjust this and position it how I want so when I'm sitting right here in this chair I have those two lights on either side of me and then this light just kind of arcs over me and I position that depending on how bright it is in here because of the daylight I may not even need this but a lot of times I'll just have this facing directly over me and some people will face their light this way right with the bulb that way but I don't I have the bulb this way so that is my lighting setup just one umbrella light and two two desk lights okay let me show you start off with my foundations and these are all the foundations that I own this is the Clinique stay matte oil free L'Oreal infallible I need to use this and I haven't used that one since the first time I used it Milani, I don't like this one. It oxidizes too red on my face. This is like a CC cream slash BB cream, but it's um, CoverGirl Queen. Love, love, love this one. I love all of them. Kat Von D, the, the tattoo. Smashbox, the liquid halo. Marc Jacobs. Lancome Tint Adol, Ultra 24 Hour. This is um, Mac. Come on in. Mac Studio Fix. My friend just showed up. And then these two Milani cream to powder. Um, and also Pro Long Wear. Mac Pro Long Wear. Hey, girl. And then um, I think I got one more. This Bobby Brown. Uh, you can come on in. <laughs> Foundation stick. <laughs> Hey y'all, how y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> Try to adjust my camera. My whole shirt won't fit in, but it says never give up. Okay, anyway, it's the next day. It's Saturday now. We went out last night. We had a really good time. So I want to show you my blushes next. I don't have a whole lot of blushes, nor my big I'm not really huge on blushes like when new blushes come out that's not something I run to it's usually foundations and 
eyeshadow palettes are my favorite which I've cut back on both of those as well so let's get started with this one Milani is called red vino it's really pretty real rose it has a lot of sparkle in it at one point I started off collecting um, NARS blushes so let me show you and I haven't bought any new ones in a while this is Taj Mahal real pretty orange love that exhibit a pretty red what is this one called Angel Angelica Angelica I'm sorry Angelica a pretty pink like a baby doll pink I haven't used that one in a while that's a highlighter I'll show you that when I show you guys my highlighters and then orgasm it's like a pretty rose gold color so those are my NARS blushes my MAC blushes I only have three this one is called sketch a deep deep rich plum purple and there's a eyeshadow called sketch as well but this is the um, blush my favorite 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 um, raisin like a terracotta brownish orange color and then this one was my favorite as well in fact I hit pan on this sweetest cocoa it's a reddish brown color I like this and I'm going for a no makeup makeup look Then I have a couple of um what is this black radiance this one is called toasted almond which is a dupe for raisin it's I can grab either one of these and get the same effect they are I guess this one is a little deeper but they're in the same family this one is called raspberry I don't reach for this one as much it's also by black radiance it's just a raspberry color and then this one is Terra Soul. I think this is by Milani it had a glass top on it but it broke off and it's really light but this gives off some really nice color I really like this rosy pink blush and then I have this one by Revlon no Maybelline and it's called orange now I'm gonna go fast because I want to go through a couple different categories highlighters this is uh, Ruby Kisses all over glow in bronzing in bronze glow my highlighter this is illuminating powder in pink diamond this is a Ulta a Ulta brand this is real pretty um, my absolute favorite is gold deposit by Mac I really don't have no need to buy a new highlighter because after a while they all start looking alike and gold deposit gives me what I need and so does this one it's called Center Stage Collection Wet Well Fergie. This one is called Carnival in Rio. Gives me what I need. When I'm doing that no makeup makeup look, I love to use this bronzer highlighter by Black Radiance in Spice Rum Spice. Is that all my highlighters? That is it. That's all my highlighters. Oh, and then NARS. Whoops. This was my one of my very first highlighters, Albatross. You guys know it's white in the pan, but when you put it on your skin, it turns to a gold, a pretty gold highlight. So that's that. I have quite a few finishing powders. Um, one of my favorites being MAC Pro Longwear. This is in um, Deep Dark. L'Oreal True Match. I don't know what color this is, but I've hit pan on that. So I really used to use the heck out of this one. What is this one called? Um, I don't know. 
If you think you're my complexion and you want to know for sure, just ask me. This is Mary Kay Bronze 2. It's a loose powder. Haven't used that in a while. I don't particularly like loose powders for setting powders. My favorite. Next to the uh, MAC Pro Longwear is the Makeup Forever. You guys have heard me talk about it. I've repurchased it, so this is my second one. Let me show you my first one. I use this um, to set my concealer over my lid. Making sure I'm in focus. I'm probably out of focus. I hope not. Um, MAC Studio MAC Studio Care Blend. Hit pan on this. It's too light, but I love it to set underneath my eye when I like to do the highlight contour, which I don't do a highlight that often, but I used to a lot. Because I hit pan on that. I have two of these BH Cosmetic studio pro this one's in 250 i actually have 255 which i don't know where it's at and this one is too light so i use it underneath my eye 255 is my color but it might be in my purse or my makeup bag <clears throat> l'oreal infallible this one is a lancome translucent in 550 suede I actually wore this today, but it's hot. It's the end of the day. I sweated it off. This is a Kat Von D in Deep 66. Love that. Snack. Yeah? Got yeah, give me one second. Um, Essay Ladder Double Wear. And... Black Radiant Soft Focus. This one's nice. This oxidizes on me though, but I like it. I think that's it for my finishing powders. I forgot about my midnight powder, so I have Banana Mojave Luxury Powder. I don't use these very often. Sienna. And I like them a lot. And Topaz. I just don't know why I never use them. Okay, let me show you my um, contour powders. What I use to contour. Um, Mandalay Dusk by Shea Moisture. This is one by um, Makeup Geek. It's called Scandal Cool Deep. I'll also contour with an eyeshadow. Let me show you which one I use real quick. Um, Embark by MAC. It's nice deep dark nice it's a matte nice um shadow for contouring and then this palette right here the black radiance in medium deep that's a nice contour color medium dark okay my favorite is the eyeshadow palette i'm gonna show you all the palettes i own um let me grab my wet and wild palettes first and i've had i have at one point, I've had pretty much all the Wet n Wild palettes, but I've gotten rid of the ones that I just didn't want anymore. Um, but Vanity has to be my favorite. That color right there, I found a couple of dupes for that uh, pretty brown in the Vanity palette right there. But they don't make this one anymore. It's not available. Well, I think it is on, like, you can find it on Amazon or eBay. The Comfort Zone palette by... Wet n Wild is just very, very nice, especially in the fall. And Sparkle Till Morning, gorgeous fall colors. So those are my favorite Vanity, I mean Wet n Wild palettes. This one by Milani is a nice neutral palette. It's one of the latest palettes that came out by Milani. This one's called Bare Necessities, a nice nude neutral color palette. And then let's see. I'm trying to think which was my favorite, which was my first palette that I ever got um, a few years ago. I haven't been wearing makeup very long. I can't think of which one it was right off the top of my head. So I'm just get started. Lorac. I got the Relac. Lorac. Lorac. Is that right? Yeah, Lorac Pro. I think this is 
pro too but it doesn't say that because this one says pro as well but i think this was the original this is pro 2 i need to put these palettes to use so the collab that's what it's about pulling out stuff that you haven't used in a while this was the original direct palette love that you guys i'm shiny as hot ready to take off this makeup the urban decay naked palettes i only ended up with the first one i didn't get any of the others so i just have the original naked palette this is a makeup geek palette vegas lights i may have only used that once or twice real pretty colors though some of my palettes i keep in the box some of them i don't this is a mark jacobs palette called the Dreamer number 212. I may have only used this a couple times. Which is a shame. So I'm going to definitely put that to use during our collab. This is a Makeup Forever palette. What is that one called? Artist Shadows 1. Looks like that. Real pretty neutral colors. like that a lot I don't want this video to be too long I got both of I showed you guys the Monarch palette and then there's another one by Kat Von D this purple one what was this one called I don't know but it looks like that I just used the Monarch one in a um my latest face of the day a recent face of the day so pretty i love that orange i love the monarch butterfly so that's what that looks like the reveal two by um coastal sense i don't think i have the first reveal palette i must just have the reveal two which looks like one of the naked palettes i love this palette love 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 i used to reach for that all the time then um the beloved missy lynn palette i think we all have this palette i have the chocolate bar palette which one is this one i got all i got three of them i don't know this one's the bonbon which I do like. Bon Bon. Then we got Semi Sweet. They smell like chocolate. So pretty. And I think, was this the original one? Yeah, this was the original one. And this is the original one that was, now this one you can get at a thinner size case. Looks like that. Very pretty. I love all three of those palettes. Then I got some Urban Decay Vice palettes. I think this was the original Vice palette by Urban Decay. And I liked all of them except for the fourth one. That's number two. This was number three. And I'm not into collect them anymore. Like it's whatever for me now. Cause after a while they all start looking alike, and I have so many colors that I don't even hardly use. This was the fourth one. Looks like this. These colors were too powdery. Like they they didn't stick. They they just I don't know. I didn't like the the formula on those palettes. This was my very first palette that I ever got. Too Faced Pretty Rebel. It looks like this. Gorgeous colors. Gorgeous colors. Yep, this was my first palette. And that's what made me fall in love with Urban Decay. And that's how I got started collecting the Vice palettes and all that. This is an Urban Decay palette, the electric palette. 
real bright pretty. Uh, what else? What else? What else? This one. I still have this one to give away. The VH Cosmetic Foil 28, 28 Foil Shadows. I have another one that's unopened that I'm going to give away. I keep saying I'm going to do a giveaway and I'm going to. For sure. And I think that's it for palettes. The only other shadow, um, eyeshadow palette I have is this Coastal Sense one. It's real dirty. And this is one of those ones where you just buy the hot pots and create your own palette. Mine is extremely dirty. This is my absolute favorite crease color called um, Burnt Umber. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Burnt Umber. And then the one next to it, which I've hit pin on as well, is called Deep Rose. So Burnt Umber and Deep Rose two awesome transition colors in Oktoberfest which is similar to um, the MAC one. Oktoberfest is con is um, similar to uh, what is the call? I don't know y'all. I'll find it. Hold on. It's brown script which I have I don't know where it is. I have a whole, whole lot of um, individual shadows. Is this brown scrub? No, this is called Coppery. One of my favorites. Yeah, this is brown scrub. Which is similar to Oktoberfest. So I have a lot, a lot of these shadows. A lot. Like, a whole lot. Like, forever they just go forever and ever and ever so I won't go through those but I need to pull those out and do some looks with um, some of my individual shadows and what else do we have I think primers is it I got this one by Becca ever matte face primer this is a oil control lotion by Mac beautiful Beautifully matte number seven, Target brand. Went well primer, Prime Perfection by Milani. This is one by Mary Kay. I don't know what it's called. This is one by Lancome. La Base Pro Pore Eraser. I don't have a problem with pores. I don't have big pores. Um, this is an Anti Shine by BH Cosmetics. I didn't know I had this. I'm going to have to keep that one to the top. And then for my lid primers, my favorite, favorite, favorite of all times is the $1 Elf Primer. I have Milani Primer. This makes my lids oily. I might throw that away. Urban Decay. We're all familiar with these. We get these free a lot of times in eyeshadow palettes and I think that's it just for the sake of this video being so long my mascara is quickly my favorite all-time mascara is Miss Manga the original Miss Manga this one is the um this isn't the original one. This was another one that came out in the pink and black. But I like the original Miss Manga. This is a Miss Manga in the gold and black. The Volume Max and Wet and Wild. I've never purchased a high-end mascara before ever. Um, this is one by Avon. CoverGirl Queen. And all these are open, which is ridiculous. I have a couple that's unopened. What's this one? This is a wet and wild one that's unopened. So I might get rid of these ones that's open and just start all over. Concealer. My fave. And I have a ton of these pro concealers. I'm not going to go through these, you guys, because I have a lot of these. This one's in toast, but I have a lot of them. But this is my favorite one, the NARS Creamy Concealer. And that is all I have. I'm going to stop right there. That's the gist of everything. I'm so sweaty and oily and shiny. So that is my stash. That is what I will be shopping my stash with for my uh, face of the days. I might do one tomorrow. Who knows? 
but that's all I got. I think that's everything. I have a ton of brushes that I can go through. Oh, I can go through setting sprays. Let me show you my setting sprays. Scandinavia. Finishing spray. Fix Plus. Refresher spray. Pixie by Petra. Glow Mist. Urban Decay D Slick. Elf, which has to be probably my favorite one. The makeup mist and set, you can get that right from Target for six bucks, I think. Perfect, love that. I love this one, NYX matte finishing spray. I have the dewy one, which I don't know where it's at. I don't know, I don't see it. Um, this is a setting mist with rosemary by Super Glue. I tested this from Sephora, just a little travel travel size, and I like that a lot. The Wet n Wild setting spray, love it. And that's it. Um, when I was mentioning my primer, I forgot this one. This is the Elf Illuminating Face Primer. So if you want to glow, this gives you a nice, pretty glow. Let me show you. I don't tend to use this in the summertime because it's glowy. It's real glowy. So that's the primer that you would put down before you put your foundation. And it just gives you a nice, really dewy look. So I can use that in the fall. But I like that a lot. You guys, that is everything. Thanks for tuning in. Sorry that this video was so long. I'll see you guys in my next one.